Okay, we're here at 620 Rezolana Drive here in Pacific Palisades. Now, we're here to check the main sewer line. We obviously cannot check every pipe in the house. Um, we've found a clean out here. The sewer line exits the back of the house and goes down the hill at a very good grade going downhill. And it uh, goes through a neighbor's property to a street below, according to Navigate LA. So... We have our camera in from this four inch clean out where the pipe exits the house and we've gone in about 143 feet where we've come into some massive roots in the line. We cannot get our camera through over here. So in order to locate the spot, we would need to get onto the neighbor's property and we need permission from them. So we don't want to do anything like that without anybody's permission. So we're going to bring, show you here, we're going to bring the camera back, bring the back, you can see Heavy, root, heavy roots over here. And this is a cast iron pipe over here. So obviously the pipe has um, malfunctioned. It's, it's obviously cracked and pretty heavy roots are getting in there as you can see. So we were only able to push the camera up to that point and then it comes back to cast iron pipe. <clears throat> now bear in mind this does have a, an a very good grade going downhill. This cast iron is obviously getting a little old, but uh, you know, we're looking at the inside of the pipe, we cannot see the outside of the pipe. So you can see it does have some rust build up in it, however, it is going down at a very good grade. There's a lot of vegetation over here along the way. <coughs> Hold on one sec. Okay. Let's keep coming back. Now, I would, I would definitely be a little bit wary about hydrojetting this line uh, for two reasons, that it's such a long distance downhill and that the roots have actually gotten into a cast iron pipe. Uh, coming back here, you have ABS plastic for the rest of the way coming back. This is all in good condition. But as I was saying, to hydrojet it, especially a cast iron pipe, it could very possibly break. So it wouldn't be a good idea to hydrojet this line 150 feet away going downhill. It's gonna be very difficult and probably would it may cause more damage than anything so we definitely want to get permission from the neighbor to go onto the property and uh, locate where this is dig it up put a clean out and then continue our inspection Now there's another clean out where the pipe exits the uh, <coughs> upstairs, um, where but the it's kind of concreted in. So we'll see if we can get it out. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on that. We may have to bring some different tools if we come back here for another visit. This is where we are, right over here on the hillside over here. You can see all the vegetation here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording for now. Okay, we're running the camera from the 4-inch clean-out where the pipe exits the house on the deck. We've gone in about 65 feet, which has all been ABS plastic. So that's all in good condition. I also, you can bring the camera back. Um, I also had a little look inside of the house, uh, underneath the sinks and everything. It all looks like ABS plastic. So. I'm assuming that probably uh, a lot of the stuff was replaced. Like I, but like I said, you know, we can only check the sewer line from where we gain access from. Um, make sure the general inspector runs the water everywhere. We've got a little bit of dirt on the lens, but it's all ABS plastic. Whatever you do, you should never flush tampons, baby wipes, paper towels, things like that. So in order to continue this inspection, in my opinion, uh, it would be best idea to get onto the neighbor's property, install, fix, locate the pipe, fix a section of pipe, 
and uh, install a cleaner and continue the inspection. That, uh, clean outs are really supposed to be every 100 feet anyway, so that would be my recommendation. Um, so as we bring the camera back, this is all in good condition over here. I've just got a little bit, don't worry about it. It's probably some cobwebs on the lens that you'll never really get off. But this has all been ABS plastic. It's all in good condition. Okay, so here we come out of this clean out over here. Clean up the lens a little. Here we are on the deck over here. And we'll stop the recording over here.